Neil Warnock finally gets that well-desired Scottish Premiership job. Welcome back to Fog Football and Aberdeen have appointed the veteran as interim manager. Now, I've already made quite a few feds on Neil Warnock, so I'm not going to bore you to death. This is simply just saying that he's been appointed. But anyway, they've named him as their interim manager. Um, and also, they, they expect to appoint a new boss before the 2024-25 campaign Um so we'll have to wait and see how that goes. They're going to try and do it before the end of the season. Who they're going to get, we'll have to wait and uh, see how it all plays out. But the reality is, I think Neil Warnock, I think he's a good appointment in the sense of like he's a decent name. But like we said yesterday, he's a bit of a journey, man. He's never really done anything. But maybe you could argue, well, uh, uh, even that level is above Aberdeen. And the fact they've got this guy's name in is something. We've seen a lot of random names being linked with this job, like Jack Wilshere. Now... Neil Warnock he says he, he once applied for the Aberdeen job and he didn't even get a reply, which is mad. But Barry Robson, of course, he was sacked last week after a year in charge and the Dons were sitting eighth in the Scottish Premiership. Of course, so Tuesday's league game tomorrow against Rangers at Ibrox. Massive, he says. I'm really looking forward to the challenge. Aberdeen is a big club with clear ambition, he said. His assistant, Ronnie Jepson, has also joined Aberdeen. While Peter Levin will continue his first team coach, the Yorkshireman came out of retirement a year ago and kept Huddersfield Town in the Championship but left the job last September. I've made no secret of the fact I've always wanted to manage in Scotland, so when I spoke to Dave Cormack and Alan Burrows and they asked me to help out, it just felt like the right opportunity. He added, and by all accounts, there's a good group of lads here. It's my job now to get the best out of them. I'm hoping that during my time here, the supporters will get behind the team and I can put a smile on their faces end of quote so we'll have to wait and see how this is all going to play out I mean honestly I don't know I mean Aberdeen I think any new manager could have come in like last season and they'll sort themselves out but they're not going to finish third like last season that is for sure and it couldn't really get any tougher at the minute taking on Rangers at Ibrox but they have beat Rangers at Ibrox this season already, so that'll give them some confidence. Of course, a draw up with Tawdry, but they did lose in the Scottish Cup, so a bit of a mixed bag against Rangers. But overall, their form against Rangers over the past, well, this season and last season is all right. A few wins in there. Um, Neil Warnock will be making to, will be aiming to make life as difficult as possible for Rangers, but you know I'm going to talk about it in my match preview later on my channel, but it doesn't matter who's appointed for Aberdeen. It doesn't matter if Aberdeen got a result against Celtic. It's time for those Rangers players to step up to task and fucking deliver on something. See if they fall short tomorrow, man. I'll go fucking through them. You can check out my match with you. You want to see a meltdown? There'll be a meltdown over there. That's for sure. Till next time. Peace.